Hello and welcome to a new video about my studio light. Now I want to build a frame or I want to build it into my lightning here. I want to have it. Um, now I know it's working very fine. Uh, I want to use it. However, I have to place somewhere this, this uh, uh, OLED display and so on. And I want that I can read the IP address from far away. So actually I want to use a smaller display. Okay, that's one goal. Use a smaller display. I want to use this display instead of this display. Okay. So what I'm going to do is simply exchange this. So rip this out. I will not rip it. Huh? And I've noticed it's pretty much the same. So I just have to replace this with that. Yeah? And hopefully this is working. Let's see if this is working. Plug it in. What is happening? Ah, yeah. station mode, connected, IP address. And now it's really tiny. Huh? It's really tiny. So I want to double the IP address and see if this is, is looking better then. All right. So I want to, to, to double the size of the IP address. So actually somewhere, where is this? I, ah, here, print. So I have to say here display. Set text size, text size here, and to double the size. So it will just scale. Uh, it will just scale. Download. How does it look like? Okay, <laughs> it's big. I cannot read it. Uh, I, 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 I can only read station mode. So actually, what I have to do, what I have to do is here, display, set text size, text size, one. All right, now it's looking better. Well, but I cannot read it, right? There are not enough digits, there's not enough room on my display to read it. One thing I can do, I can turn off the text wrap. Okay, I will do this here somewhere. We'll do this here in the, in the setup. If text, here text, uh, display. The text wrap false. This is if the next letter is not fitting. Upload meanwhile. If the next letter is not fitting to, eh? so here would be at least half the next digit would would be readable, should be readable. Eh? But it's not there because it's wrapped and would be in the next line. The next line for the next line the display is too small <laughs> so we cannot see this so at least we could think that there is something here okay that this is something here that we indicate that there is more what well, IP address is obvious yeah? but now let's see how this with this text wrap falls is now behaving Uh, you see, now I can see it's at least it's 2 or is it 20 or is it 24? 20? We don't know. Yeah? What I want to code now is 
that this part of the display is scrolling to the left. Okay? So that the whole, I can read always scrolling left, right a little bit, that we can read the full amount, the full IP address. Okay? That's the goal. And this is what we want to achieve. From the size and everything, it looks fine. I can read it from here, I could read it there probably. This is fine. The rest of the information is for me not that important, I would say. Okay? So, what we're going to do? Yeah? I'm going to add a new function, which should print out and scroll this and scroll this. Let's see, let's close everything here. Set up where I want to put it. I will put it here between loop and setup. I will call it scroll text, scroll text. And I will have a string. I'll call it address because we are printing out the IP address. I have to call this. And I want a position x and it shall start with zero. At the zero pixel, at the left pixel, it should start. Okay? Uh, and I want to scroll it in steps by five pixels. Why not? Uh, five pixels. And now. I actually have to cope with this. Ah. Display dot uh, set text text size two. And now display dot set cursor. Now we set it to text pose x. Okay, x is x, and y. Ooh. I think one is seven, one is seven or eight. There's seventeen. Why? Seventeen pixel in Y. Okay. There I want to start to print, and now I print it. Huh? Display. Dot print and I am printing the address. Good. Uh, and now I say text position equals uh, plus equals delta. So next time I'm calling this scroll text function, it will be five pixel to the left because delta x is minus five. And however, I have to stop somewhere. So I know that six pixels, one did one letter is broad. Okay, six pixels. It's, it's factor two, so it's 12 pixels. Uh, so I will make an integer uh, well value. Uh, and this is minus 12 multiplied by address.length. This is the length, how many, how many characters are inside address and multiplied by 12 yeah? and plus display dot width. Because I want it to stop, it must be scrolling to the left, however, not too far, just that the length fits to the display. This is why I add here this display dot width. All right, so if now the text pose x yeah, is smaller than this value, I will say delta x is minus delta x. So it simply turn the, the direction. And then it will grow, and if it's bigger than zero, okay, so it's or, or 
x plus x bigger than zero, it's the other way around. And actually, this should already scroll. This should already scroll, I hope. So the only thing I have to do is somewhere here, Wi-Fi check timeout. Where is this uh, status display? Where I'm printing. This I can forget. I am calling scroll uh, scroll text. It was called scroll text, and I am scrolling this text, this IP address. This is not working because I have to use it to string. Then it's a string. Every time I call this, and I call this now. Whenever this Wi-Fi check time is turned, uh -huh. should work. Let's see. Let's see if this uh, is working proper. Ah, now you see it scro scrolling. All right. Have a look. Mm -hmm. This flickering, I do not see. This is. But now it's scrolling, it's scrolling a, bit, a little bit too slow, huh? but we can fix this. But now it's scrolling left and right, so we can see the whole IP address. This is good. This is good. Now I show you how, how I did it, yeah? because I realized I had this window over. Here I'm call now scroll text to string, yeah? IP address to string, yeah? and I've made a new function scroll text, and this function setting the display text size to 2, starting to set the cursor at text position, so in the beginning at 0, and x position and y position 17, and then we're printing the address. And next print out that the text position x will be somewhere else. Yeah? So at the First, I will use OS 5 pixel to the left. Yeah? And when we reach a certain value, which I calculate here, by the length of the address, the size of what one digit is using, it's 12 pixel. Yeah? And the display width, because then I have exactly the width, the position, the minimum x, x position, which is already outside the display. So the x position will be minus whatever. Yeah? And Every time I'm below this value, I will just scroll to the other side. So this is working nice. So I will also make this here. So I will also call this here also if we are in station mode. Also call. And now I want to have it a little bit faster. So actually... Here is here it's 500 status of Wi-Fi exit. I will use 1000. So every second it should scroll. Every second it should scroll. Now it should look a little bit faster. Let's see if this is really the case. This is the current speed. There we go. Yes. Now it looks nice. So now I know it's 24 at the end. 
scrolling on an OLED display. Good. And now I will design a case. And actually, when I'm satisfied, I will mount this so that this, this is not that bright. <laughs> Good bright. Good bright. It's uh, just um, put me in the right light. This, for that I will use this. Okay, so scrolling text on an OLED display. Uh, you see, just set the right pixel, write it, clear it. Good. Good, for this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.